In the past, most people in Africa were farmers. Rural populations were small. Farmers had access to abundant land so could shift production when their soils wore out. Agriculture still employs more than 70% of Africa's workforce. But over the last 50 years, the balance between farming and available natural resources has dramatically changed. Mushrooming populations have led to wide-scale tree clearance. Farms are now usually less than a hectare and there is no spare land. The resulting, increasingly small overfarmed plots have recently been degrading and losing soil fertility, leaving tens of millions of families destitute. Changing climates are now adding to the environmental degradation. For half a century, conventional research and development struggled to solve these complex problems with limited success. However, five decades of research led to the understanding that a new approach is needed so farmers can access low-cost, low-risk agricultural methods to make their farms more productive. A breakthrough came when researchers observed and started working with farmers who still integrated selected trees in their crop fields because these farmers had better harvests. In Zambia and Malawi, a variety of farming systems were then developed using combinations of zero tillage, crop rotation and crop residues to protect and improve soils. Some projects also encouraged farmers to use a range of trees in their crop fields, allowing them to become self-sufficient in not only fertilizer, but fuel, fruit and fodder. Evidence also arrived from the overfarmed croplands of West Africa. Farmer managed natural regeneration of local tree types is reversing 50 years of tree cutting and desertification. All these methods were united under the heading of the new approach. Because the aim was to re-establish an all-year useful green cover across the land. It was called evergreen agriculture. It was called evergreen agriculture. Nagani <laughs> But rolling the approach out across the whole continent is bringing many new challenges, including changing policies, increasing extension services, and sourcing new finance. Africa's environments are diverse. People from different places need the choice of different tree crop combinations and this wide variety still needs research. So new trees can be introduced to new areas to create income generating opportunities. Governments and civic organizations need to increase the spread of information about farmer-led successes to speed changes and increase public understanding. Farmers have to help more farmers access messages. Systems for production of tree seeds and seedlings need additional development. researchers and government decision makers need to create policies that support evergreen agriculture across the region. 
science will continue to work to improve the characteristics of trees in order to overcome more climate and environmental problems. Though there is much left to do, the evergreen agriculture vision now exists. It foresees a landscape where single crop fields are replaced by a richer, more sustainable biodiversity, allowing farmers to adapt to climate changes and increase their harvests under a full canopy of trees. The stage is now set for an increasingly prosperous agricultural framework in Africa.